So there was a lot of dope stuff at CES, and it was hard for me to keep up with a lot of it. So like, it was hard to get this list together for real. But check this out, bro. So you know how CES is just made of concepts and all that stuff? So I want to go and show you five things that you can actually buy from CES. And I know I'm late, man, but I'm a busy dude for real, for real, man. But let's go and hop into this. Hey, what's good, y'all? So Trill, and the first thing I want to go and talk about is the LG Transparent OLED T. So they was actually talking about this supposed to come out later this year. I didn't even really expect that, but if you watch all the CES videos, you saw in all the intros that they showed off the LG TVs moving around and all that, and it looked like some good TVs for sure. Like when you see it in person, it looked dope, man. And like just looking at the quality, it's a lot better than it used to be last year. So this ain't the first time that they showed off some transparent TVs, but this is actually the first time that they said it was gonna come out to the market. But the thing about these TVs is you can have it be transparent whenever you want, and then whenever you want it to just look like a regular TV, it can do that too. Now I'm thinking about something like this, right? So check this out. Maybe you have like a window the same exact size as your TV. Imagine your TV basically being your window. That would be cold. So if you're about to go and throw on a Netflix movie or something like that, you don't got to go ahead and close the blinds and all that. You could just turn on the TV and it's going to do it for you, basically. Because it got this shade behind the TV. So that's why I was saying you can make it transparent whenever you want. Or you could just make it look like a regular TV whenever you want. And it worked pretty decent, too. So they wasn't giving out no pricing or nothing like that. But they was just saying that's going to come out to the market later this year. Next up, we got the Samsung Galaxy Book 4. So Samsung already announced this before CES. But this is my first time hearing about it. And they only got it out in Korea right now. I think it's out in Korea. But yeah, so it's not even out in the United States and the like that yet but this is the first time that really anybody could play with these things so they got the galaxy book 4 pro pro 360 and then they got the galaxy book 4 ultra now me i had the galaxy book 3 and i'm not gonna lie that shit was ass i wasn't really feeling that thing at all but like at the same time no i heard they improved like the thermos and all that that's my main thing with the galaxy books bro is that they just get way too hot and i'm a samsung dude like y'all know this i got the fold 5 and the tab is 9 plus and all that but they was telling me they improved the cooling i don't really know yet for sure but i want to find that though but they got like a bunch of new ecosystem features so you actually got like the samsung call app on there you got like uh continue to other devices app like they did a whole bunch of different stuff with the ecosystem on the galaxy books now you got the new gen intel ultra chips you got the whole nvidia gtx up in the new galaxy book ultra series like these things look valid for sure like i'm pretty sure you can go on ebay right now you can actually pick one of these up but it's gonna be the korean version but it should be coming out to the united states soon i didn't hear a date for that but it should be coming out soon so i'm watching out for that number three we got the ge profile ultra fast combo i had to look at that because i screwed this up i don't know how many times not just looking at the name so i had to find that out apparently washer and dryer combos ain't really that new but that's the first time i heard something like that so when i saw it in person i was like damn that's dope i bet <laughs> but basically ge went ahead and took a washer and a dryer and they just put it in one thing so you don't got to go ahead and bring your load over to the dryer when you're done with the washer and then maybe it's sitting in the washer and then you know how that get when you let it sit overnight or whatever else it just starts to smell so it's gonna do all that at once i thought that was pretty cool it come with an app and everything so i think they said it runs for about the price of a washer and a dryer like if i look right now let me see how much it costs so it's actually on the market right now for $28.99 so that's a hell of a lot of money all right so maybe you're living in a big spot or something like that or you're living in nyc so i know how y'all get down over there all right i saw the youtube videos the fact that y'all living in two by two cubicles for three bands a month is crazy but look i ain't even gonna get to that right now but if you're in a situation like that or maybe you just don't really want to wash her in the dryer and you want more room in your laundry room or whatever else then go ahead and check that out so it's actually on sale right now you can literally go ahead and buy it right now from the ge website i'll leave a link down below next up we got the Philip home access 5000 series smart lock so this is actually something i'm about to review on my channel so i was talking to the dude at philips home access so apparently they got two departments they got the philips they got the philips u and all that and then they got philips home access so philips home access is the same philips company that you know but like they got their own smart home stuff but the 5000 series is a smart lock that actually recognizes your palm and unlocks your door like that I ain't never seen nothing like that before. That's cold as fuck, bro. And you best believe I'm gonna put that on my door instantly because I got like this Nest Yield lock and it just started giving me issues like within the last like three days or something. Now, hold up a minute. Now, I want to show y'all this real quick because they actually did give me a lock at CES. They gave me this. It's a fingerprint based one. So shout out to them for that. But I want to go and check out the 5000 series too. And y'all going to see that for y'all selves. But yeah, basically he was just showing me in the demo. All you got to do is just hold your palm up to it. It recognizes your palm and unlock your door. Now, if it's cold or something like that, you got gloves or whatever else. You can just still use the pen or whatever. Or you can just go ahead and use the manual key if you need to. Maybe it dies or something like that. But I still thought that was mad cool, bro. And number one, I had to do it, bro. Who the f it's texting me right now. But I had to do it, bro. We got the Kohler Numi 2.0 toilet. I, I, like, it's a smart toilet, but look, it is what it is. So Kohler actually had a bunch of dope stuff over there. So they had this, like, dope-looking tub and everything like that. I know they had some shower heads, and, like, it was just crazy over there. That was one of my favorite booths. But the Numi 2.0, bro, I swear to God. So it cleans itself. It got its own bidet. You can go ahead and put your foot next to the sensor, and the, the actual, like, lid opens up for dudes. It got a seat warmer. It can do basically anything you want it to. It got, like, LEDs or whatever. 
whatever else, and they even got a speaker built up into it. Now, I posted the YouTube shorts and the TikTok and all that, so y'all probably already saw that, but y'all heard the price of... 8500 So yeah, that thing ain't cheap at all. But look, I just said dope tech. I ain't saying whether it was reasonable or not. But I know I remember telling that dude, like, that was the dopest thing I saw at CES so far. A toilet game. But with that being said, man, I'm about to go and get up out of here. So hopefully I enjoyed this, man. Appreciate y'all for coming through for show. Sure. Always show me mad love. But I'm about to go ahead and do my top CES things I saw in general too. Not things that you could just buy, like concepts and all that. Like I saw Infinity has some stuff and whatever else. But oh yeah, by the way, I want to make an honorable mention to Click. So I did see that at CES 2024. My boy Michael Fisher, shout out to him. So here's the thing. I just told Michael, I literally just emailed him, I was like, bro, I just got the iPhone 15 Pro, so I did a video on that, I don't know if it's gonna be out before or after this video, but I did buy iPhone 15 Pro, bro, like I literally went to the Apple store and that was like my first Apple store purchase, and he was saying how the clicks keyboard, I don't know, y'all probably heard all about it, but like it's an accessory that you put on your iPhone 15 Pro or like 14 Pro or 15 Pro Max or whatever you got, I know he said it was just those three phones for now, but like once in the future maybe like they'll expand it to other phones, I don't really know yet, but if you know Michael Fisher or Mr. Mobile, you know that that dude love his blackberries, bro. I swear to God, like he was the key to like general. The only reason I see it's honorable mention, cause even though he my boy, I gotta be honest here, man. So when I was using it, it's really not meant for somebody with longer fingernails. Like it really ain't. So I just trimmed some of my fingernails, but when I was using it, I noticed it was a little bit more uncomfortable for me cause I had longer fingernails. Also another thing, he said that there was a prototype so it ain't really out on the market yet. So maybe things could change, I don't know. But they ain't got no MagSafe. That's a huge L for me, man. I'm not going front because especially with iPhones, like I need MagSafe in my accessories, man. So I don't want to have to take off the clicks to go ahead and use the MagSafe. I think it would be dope if we actually had it built into this. So if you're watching this, check that out. Just think about it, Michael, man. But I just had to throw that out there for sure. But anyway, man, I'm going to get up with y'all, man. So hopefully I enjoyed this. Let me know what y'all think about these in the comments below. But I'm definitely going to hit CES 2025, man, because I'm telling y'all, like with CES 2021, like until now, this is my favorite CES I've ever been to, for sure. I got so many dope people over here, bro. Like, I vlogged the whole thing. Hopefully, I'll get this up on this channel. But, yeah, just stay tuned for that. Anyway, man, hopefully, I enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go subscribe. And go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Sentech on Instagram and X and Facebook. But Instagram and X are most active. And let me know, did y'all see other CES 2024 videos? And, like, did you see anything that you thought was dope? Let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to get up with y'all later, man. Y'all be smooth. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.